All right, so I've had this motor for a while. I've been kind of intimidated by it, like you'll hear me say in another video. I had, had a few of them. And actually, all the ones that I had, I've actually went through today. I've been uh, cutting them up, cutting them up. And um, they've been turning out to be aluminum for the most part. Haven't tested that one yet. But this one here is a little bit different. This is one that had the engine um, attached to this thing. So gas operated generator. Um, so yeah, uh, the only way I could figure to get this thing apart because I couldn't get to these bolts. I just couldn't get to the bolts. I'm trying to take that whole thing off of this so I can get my cast for this and my motor price for this. I couldn't figure out a way. I mean, I pulled on nuts and bolts and I pulled the end off and I tried to spin that center thing and it just spins everything. So I started cutting right here. And I cut that side. I'm going to cut that. I'm going to cut that one and the other one. And then it's a pretty good size shaft that runs through that thing. I'm not sure if I can cut it, but that's my idea. And uh, we'll see if it happens. I'm uh, working on that now, guys. That's been my project for the last... Just a few minutes, really. I mean, I just started maybe 15 minutes. But, uh, yeah, I'd like to get it apart. Let's we'll see if we can get it. Still cut. I'm just kind of hoping that if I cut them four places, that will give me a... I can move that out just enough to get me some room to my shaft and, and then cut the shaft, and then I'll have two pieces. That shaft wasn't cutting too easy, so I figured I had these bolts thing off. It ought to be able to come apart and... And it did, and I'm hoping that that whole thing is what I'm looking to just pull off the shaft. So I'm still working on it. I learned something on these motors. <clears throat> so I want to teach you. If you ever run across one of these, you have these bolts right here that hold that faceplate on it. You can remove that. Or actually, now that I've found out, you don't have to remove it. Um, so uh, I cut them off, pulled the faceplate off. I uh, tried to cut the shaft back there. It gave me a heck of a time. Couldn't do it. So I found these four places that it was hooked to. And now, um, now that I got that, what I'm trying to do, and it seems like it's working, is this is going to pull off of that. And it's going to have that aluminum donut thing in there. So uh, let's see if I can set my camera down and figure if we get this thing pulled out. There we go. That part outside of that motor is out you go right there that's the outside of it and that is copper i'm going to save that my copper box yeah. all right guys yeah, so pulled that big piece out threw that in the box but now i'm stuck with this problem this is the piece that i cut off found out that I didn't even have to do that once I got them four pieces cut I could have just pulled that out but I'm still left with this big nugget of copper in here and uh how to get it out of there without sending it to the scrapyard how to get it out of there without sending it to the scrapyard um and it's not even with the motor so how would they buy it I can tell you that the shaft on this thing is not as big as I thought, but I got to get to it. So I've got to cut this thing right here off and it's, or break it off with a hammer, one of the two, which you got to be careful when you're breaking aluminum. That stuff will shatter uh, if you're going to break it. And then I'm going to see if I can get to that shaft so that I can bring this in with the rest of that motor that I just threw in that bin. All right, so what I was working on is getting to that shaft right there. And even though I got to it, that's a pretty good size shaft, but in order to get this piece off, the only way it's gonna happen. So let's get the cutting. <laughs> Believe it or not, <laughs> I actually did come a long way in my yard today. I'm trying to kill this grass, I can tell you that much. My wife threw that there, so it's not on me. That I need to get around back. I'm saving it for Greg Scorpion Metals, the guy that makes my my um, rounds from my scrap from grandpa channel. The whole box there on the left is his, that little brown box is his. <clears throat> I've got a box inside that he is. I've got hard drives, all kinds of stuff like that. I don't mess with that kind of stuff. He's a computer guy. I'm not. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I got a lot of my motors cleaned up. Man, it's pilot, pilot motor over there. Cleaned up the motors today. 
ready to go in. Since they are categorizing motors the way they are now, I've got a whole stack of uh, motors in that barrel over there that are actually going to go in. And I'm saying three quarters full. So with them, it would be full. So, uh, and plus the one I got in my back of my truck. Excuse me, guys. Whew. Just took a big gulp of cold, cold water. <clears throat> plus the one that I took apart out in my front yard yesterday. I'm not sure when that video will come out but i did tear apart a motor in my front yard As a matter of fact look at my front yard this might surprise everybody what you've been looking at from the time i round my fence or should i say was was that boat remember that boat well that was given to me it was a free item and look at all this stuff gone <clears throat> forgot to pick up that plate that would be wouldn't be there but somebody dropped it off today so i've got to get that around here but look at there finally got everything in my front yard gone except for a couple tires that belong to my stepson yeah my front yard is cleaned up for the most part <clears throat> now i'm keeping everything behind the fence behind the fence and i'm working on cleaning this up too this is my pile of heavy i have started that i have to get into the trailer got some copper goodness right there that i need to clean up probably two or three pounds of it tearing that off that frame turning them in as motors selling that stuff i love it I got 16 pieces of that and they all clip together one onto the next so i think that's pretty cool <clears throat> i wanted to get these tore apart today that that and that and that air conditioner i guess but i never did get to any of them or any of them so one two three four five six seven daggum air conditioners another one of them big motors i know how to take them apart now that won't be too hard i can take that apart now that won't be too hard so yeah got a whole bucket to clean up miscellaneous everything you name it it's got aluminum it's got copper it's got metal a little bit of everything some street signs I'll go through that later. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for today. I'm working on my yard. Scrap my grandpa. What's next? Tell you what's next. I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by my channel, and especially when you leave a comment. Grandpa loves it when you leave a comment, and I know some of you guys are saying, hey, it's kind of hard to call you grandpa, beings I'm a grandpa, um, but I'm going to call you grandpa anyway, so thank you. Guys, look at that little ominous day there. A little overcast and cloudy. It's a beautiful day, though. It's a good day to be working in the yard. And that's pretty much where I've been working today. Still didn't get to everything I wanted to get to. But I have a doggy's appointment. I have no idea what's in here. Look at this see them anymore it's heavy I got a box to go to what is this guys anybody know what that is I don't I don't probably give these to Greg I see a little gold in there. Anyways. Anyways. This is Greg, too. Greg, all this is yours. Good box. Oh, my God, God. A bunch of them. That box is yours, my brother. I'll save it around back. This box is yours. I'll save it around back. It's your kind of stuff. Let's 
scorpion metals, guys. Go check them out. Get some rounds, copper rounds, silver rounds, whatever you want. He'll put any design on it you want. Go check them out.